Day 16. Redhead Goes Healthy here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I'm focusing on my mind, body, and soul. If you'd like to see the video explaining what this is all about, feel free to click on that above or just check out the daily goals posted below. All right, today is a calorie cut day, so I am mentally preparing myself for that. I'd like to just make this a very, very straightforward to the point video today. I do have a couple errands to run and some work to do. So let's just get right into the mind. All right, so we are continuing with Martha Beck's way of integrity. What we're talking about today is what might happen when you start telling the truth. It's not gonna be all sunshines and rainbows, but we can learn to turn any opposition that we face into something positive for us. Most importantly, we have to make the decision not to turn back, no matter what. What this means is that we might become a target for other people. And this is because a lot of people, according to Martha Beck, are not living lives of truth and integrity, and they feel threatened by people who are deciding to dedicate themselves to authenticity, integrity, and truth. A silly example, I mean, we could talk about Jesus, Gandhi, all the people in history who've sort of resisted the status quo, but a silly example that she gives us is, let's say you dye your hair blue, you just decide you wanna dye your hair blue, and you go to grandma's house and grandma's a little conservative, doesn't understand like blue hair and she gets really like upset that you've dyed your hair. Why did you do this? This is wrong, this is messed up. And for some reason she's upset at you for doing this. It has nothing to do with her, but you have upset her worldview with your blue hair. Now you can decide to react in a couple of ways. The way that we typically react in these situations is to act like a victim, is to suddenly think of grandma as this other that just doesn't understand you, doesn't understand you know, what it means to be a teenager and dye your hair blue, or an adult and dye your hair blue, you know, you do you. Then we think of grandma as this persecutor and we are the victim. Martha Beck wants us to challenge this dichotomy of victim and persecutor. You can actually refuse that drama and this is the kind of drama that is triangular where there's a victim, a persecutor, and a rescuer. The drama triangle. We actually don't have to accept any of those labels as a part of our identities. Instead, when people get mad at you for living in your integrity and being on the way to integrity, use that as an opportunity for creativity and peace. Think of the person that's attacking you as somebody that's showing you what your next step is on your path toward integrity. And that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Now let's talk about my body. <laughs> my body is in a lot of pain. I, my lower back is um, really, really sore. I think I'm feeling the effects of the 75 minute Peloton ride that I did this weekend. And then the jog, I think actually also further upset my back. So today I just decided to do a 20 minute low impact ride, but I also did a warm up, the ride itself, a cool down, and then some stretching afterwards. And now the soul, feel free to meditate along with the nature. Today is a very gloomy day, so I apologize for that, but hopefully you feel a little cozy.
it to check. Today, I barely got there, so 680 total calories burned, 2300. Check. Uh, one gallon of water, that is a check. And then today was a calorie cut day, and so I went to 1400 today. Pretty proud of myself for that. Check. Meditate for five minutes. Check. Film and upload an accountability video. Check. Oh. I guess I accidentally turned the page. Film and upload an accountability video. Check. I like the Remarkable, but sometimes it is a little finicky. So I honestly would not recommend anyone buy this product.